is up my friends my name is McKinsey and this is episode one out of four in a little series I'm doing where we are going to redesign my website watchmepractice.co okay so if you don't know watch me practice is a little side project I started um, a couple months ago um, basically it's a, a twice a week live stream uh, where I practice uh, illustrations or design or whatever I have to do that day um, sometimes I do actual work I need to get done. Sometimes I just do stuff just for fun, just for practice. But the entire thing is just an effort for me to get better at what I do, which is design and illustration, and also uh, share the process with others. So uh, hopefully um, if you watch, you can learn something uh, along with me. So this is the current design I have right here. Um, so it's just a, a title, a subtitle, got a little video of the most recent live stream, a little chat on YouTube, which takes you to uh, the YouTube watch page, um, and then some copy I wrote up and a little sign up box. And then below that is all the previous live streams. Um, so when I first started this project, it was just as an experiment. I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with this. I wasn't sure if I uh, would enjoy live streaming or if I would hate it. Um, so I didn't really put much thought or time into this site. I think um, initially I put about an hour uh, to get the initial landing page up um, and then and then probably like another hour or so adding in the uh, past live streams and uh, designing all that. But since um, I do want to continue on with uh, the Watch Me Practice the live streams, um, I really do want to make a really, really great uh, site for it. So like I mentioned, this is going to be a four part series. So in episode one in this video, um, I want to go through and plan out um, the website, uh, talk about the goals I have for it, and think through the various pages and the content I need on each page. Um, as well, I want to do some uh, really quick wireframes. I don't think I'm going to do anything major for the wireframes. I think simple pen and paper, just sketching out my ideas uh, is good enough since this is a pretty simple site. And then in episode two, I'm going to take those wireframes, we're going to jump into sketch and actually create the designs. In episode three, we are going to take that design and actually build it in Webflow. Um, and then episode four, we're going to add some cool interactions and stuff as well as do any uh, necessary cleanup. So let's get started. Um, I have a uh, little document open in a uh, Dropbox paper, uh, which you should check out. Dropbox paper is dope. So the first thing I want to do is uh, talk about the goals of this site. I do have a few goals which are going to influence uh, the design. Um, so the number one goal is I want to use uh, Watch Me Practice as a uh, way to help grow my YouTube channel. Um, so for that, I'm probably going to throw in some calls to action to sign up for my YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, so I'm going to say grow my YouTube channel. Uh, number two, I, I just want to explain what uh, the Watch Me Practice is. Explain what Watch Me Practice is all about. Um, and then I also just wanted to share past live streams. Uh, next, let's think about the vibes and emotions. So I really uh, want this site to be different than what I normally do. Um, I want to uh, A, use this as an excuse just to uh, try to grow as a designer. So I'm going to try to do a different style than the normal white and uh, minimal and bubbly look that I go for. Um, I really want something that is uh, very sleek looking, uh, professional. I also want it to feel kind of elegant. And I did think it'd be cool to do a, uh, a dark theme because uh, one of the live streams is at Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. So it's in the evening when the, the sun is down. So I thought it'd be cool to uh, uh, play off of that. So I'm going to say uh, dark theme question mark. All right, let's think through the pages. Pages. So in terms of pages, if we go back to the current site, there's really only a couple, um, actually two uh, on the current site. Uh, so there's the home page, uh, which has like the title, subtitle, uh, previous video, and then some copy and a sign up box. 
And then there's also, if we click on one of these, there's the uh, past live stream page. So this is all set up with the Webflow CMS. All the uh, previous live streams are added dynamically. I do want the new site to be a little more so. Um, I want the home page, obviously. I want a um, individual live stream page. Um, I also want a page where you can view all the live streams because uh, currently right now they're just listed out at the bottom of the page, all of them. And I don't really want that. What I was thinking is an individual page would just have a few of the previous or the most recent ones. Um, and then you could go to uh, view all uh, live streams page and it would list out all of them. So I'll say view all live streams page. Um, and then the last page, I'm not really sure it needs to be its own page, um, but I want uh, something to uh, show the schedule. So yeah, I'm not sure it deserves its own page because uh, there's not gonna be much content. It's really just gonna be like a little description of like when I do things and also uh, a few of the upcoming uh, live streams. So it might make more sense to do it as like a simple like drop down modal or something, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll play with that. All right, so what I wanna do now is go through each of the pages and think through the content. That way I can like make sure I have everything I need as well as uh, when we get into uh, creating the Webflow CMS or setting all that up, um, I know what like fields and stuff I need to create. So if we go back to the current site, let's go home. So we currently have up top the next live stream, um, and then the title subtitle, next live stream. Um, I do wanna keep that title slash subtitle. I also have the most recent live stream video. I don't wanna do that for this one. Um, I actually made a little like overview video that just is me talking about uh, what Watch Me Practice is. Um, so I'm just gonna say video. Let's see, chat live on YouTube. I might keep that, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so all of this content, um, I do wanna add some content, some copy, but I don't think I wanna, um, a lot of this stuff uh, will be, has changed since I first started, since I didn't really know what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, this sign up box, um, I think I'm just gonna drop the sign up box uh, for a few reasons. Uh, number one is I have trouble keeping up with it. Um, it's just another thing that like I have to remember to do and I always end up forgetting um, to like send out the times. Um, and it was also originally set up because like I didn't know when I was gonna be live streaming. But now since I have a schedule, I think it's not as necessary. And also, uh, if we go back to this, uh, the number one goal for this site is uh, to help grow my YouTube channel. Um, so I think if I had a call to action to subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as a call to action to um, sign up for an email newsletter, uh, those wouldn't be as strong as if I just did one or the other. Uh, so I want to go to a, a, a subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel CTA or call to action. And then also I want the past live streams. And then um, also I want a footer with social links to uh, my Twitter, Insta, all, all that. All right, so an individual page. Let's go through this. Oh, one thing I did forget on the home page. I want, I need a, I want some navigation. So right now, uh, there's no navigation other than uh, clicking on a previous link. Um, but I do want you to be able to navigate to all the various pages. So uh, individual page. I'll have the navigation as well. Um, probably the next live stream. Um, I also want the title. Um, I want the date that that live stream was uh, held on, uh, the live stream video. Let's go back and see what else. So we have the title, the date, the video, and then the content. That's all I have currently. So I'll have content. Um, I also want to add in recent live streams. Um, I don't want all of them, just like maybe four or five. Um, but we'll play with that when we get into the design. And then also I want a footer with social 
social links. So the view all live streams page, view all live streams. So that is gonna be pretty simple. I just want a title that says um, all live streams. I also want to just list out all the past live streams. I would like to incorporate a call to action uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel on this page as well. So um, sign up for YouTube. Actually, it'd be subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube CTA. I might want that on the uh, individual page too. I I'm not quite sure yet though. So subscribe and then probably just the footer. I'm not really sure I need any other content other than that because uh, the main goal of that page would just be to list out all the previous live streams. And then uh, the schedule page. So again, I'm not sure, let's think through this. I would want a title that says schedule, a little description that talks about like, um, that I do live streams on Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays. Um, and then a list of upcoming live streams. So I'm not sure that deserves its own page. So I'm gonna just say modal question mark. And yeah, I think that's it. So one last thing I wanna think through is what a um, live stream will look like on the various pages. That way I can make sure I have all those fields and, and add that content in the, uh, the CMS. So right now, all I do is show the number and the date. I want to do that a bit more. So I'm gonna say live stream content. So I want the number, number or title. I also want the date that it was published on. Uh, I think a little excerpt would be cool, uh, showing like the first like couple lines of the, um, first couple lines of the paragraph. And then uh, also a thumbnail. That's something I don't have right now. So we'll need to add that in. Cool, so I think this is good in terms of planning. So next thing I wanna do is uh, do some super quick uh, wireframes, just uh, so you can see uh, my thoughts for how I wanna lay out this content. Um, I do already have a pretty good idea of how I wanna do it, so um, I don't think I'll go super deep into it. But yeah, let's do that now. All right, so uh, let's start with the homepage. Uh, so I'm just gonna sketch up what I am thinking for this page. So what we currently have is everything in a single column. I think what I want to do is uh, have the navigation up top um, and then a title, uh, some like little links, um, and then a video below that, uh, that overview video that I talked about earlier. Some more content and maybe like the uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, called Action below that. Um, that stuff won't change. And then uh, the dynamic content is, uh, I would have over here, um, I would list out all the uh, previous live streams. And by all, I mean not all of them, just uh, a few of them. And then below that, I would have a link to go to uh, the view all page. Um, so something like this is kind of what I was thinking uh, for the home page. Uh, so I'm just gonna write home page. And then for the remainder of the pages, I was thinking would just follow the same template of the, uh, the two columns. Um, so if we do, uh, so if I have the navigation up here, maybe I could have a title, um, like the number, the 010 or 009 or whatever. And then I could have the actual live stream video right below that. And then any content I have live uh, right there with some images as well um, and then I could have previous live streams again on this side so something like that and then uh, I, on the home page uh, we could have the footer with uh, those uh, social links the view all page I'm kind of thinking would be kind of the same but it would be the only page that'd be a little bit different um, so I would want like a title that says like all live streams um, and instead of just having them in a single column, I was thinking we could have uh, them stacked side by side. Something like this. And then the page would just go down uh, listing them all out. And then maybe below that I could have like a line or two and then a button to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then I could have the footer down below that. And then really the only last thing would be the schedule. 
So uh, the more I think about it, the more I think uh, the schedule does not need its own page. Uh, so what I'm thinking here is uh, doing a modal with a little title, uh, maybe a line or two saying like, um, I do live streams every Wednesday, Saturday, blah, blah, blah. And then I could have um, uh, a little table or a little list uh, showing the upcoming live streams um, and the time. And then all of this would be uh, darkened out. So yeah, uh, I'm going to keep this pretty basic. I do want to think through like what I want on uh, each of the live streams, uh, how this will be laid out. Um, so for each live stream, I want to have a thumbnail uh, to show. So maybe I could do something like have the box. What if I did something like this? Had a had the date, had a little line or two of an excerpt. Um, I could have a thumbnail like popping out a little bit and add some shadow underneath that uh, to give it some depth. And then maybe um, on the side, I could show like what number uh, live stream that is. So like zero nine or something. And if I had another one, uh, this one could be eight. And then I could have the date and a little description. Something like that could be super cool. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. Uh, since I planned out everything, I know uh, what I'm trying to accomplish with this design. I know the vibe and emotion I want to achieve. Um, I know the pages that I need to create designs for. And I also know uh, what content I need on each of the various pages. So yeah, in the next episode, uh, we'll jump into Sketch and actually create this design. Uh, but until then, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.